hello hello everyone and welcome to the second installment of c3 crafting corner conversations i hope y'all are doing wonderful this friday first friday of february this year is already just flying by but i want to just thank you all for showing up for yourselves in this crafting journey okay um if you all missed which I will mention again later. If you missed January's C3, feel free to watch the replay. We talked about the multiple streams of income you can receive by having, what? A cutting machine. We talked about the hundreds of ideas and mediums you could use and the streams of revenue you could have by investing in a cutting machine. So be sure to go check that replay out after this one. And let's just go ahead and dive in. I won't have you here long. It is Friday. This is just going to be a broad overview of where you can get some apparel items, the vendors I use specifically, some supplies you'll need for your different techniques, brands that I like, and just that broad overview. We'll get into the nitty gritty and of course down the line, but this is just to get your feet wet a little bit, okay? So let's dive into apparel basics. All right, so first and foremost, how rude of me. My name is Jamisa Hodges. I am the CEO of By J Creates LLC. We are an all service customization brand. We service businesses, schools, teams, nonprofits, churches, you name it, we do it. We enjoy bringing visions to life one customization at a time. Now, I may be moving my floating head around here and there um, throughout uh, the presentation just so you can pretty much see what's on the screen, okay? I forgot to optimize the slides to fit uh, this corner here of my face, all right? All right, let's move on. Next up, first and foremost, before you start thinking about what brands or what uh, types of apparel you need, you have to pinpoint the technique you're going to be using. Now, lots of lots of us know vinyl. You know, you can go to Michael's Hobby Lobby and grab some vinyl, right? That is the most popular technique to use, right? But there's also screen printing, direct to film, embroidery and sublimation. Now, all of these will determine will be based upon your uh, how much you want to invest up front, okay? Now, we are going to talk about some alternatives if you don't want to be as hands-on. But for vinyl, you'll need a cutting machine and a heat press, okay? Just machinery-wise, all right? Screen printing, you'll need several screens. Um, we also sometimes, a technique is to use vinyl as well. Um, if you don't want to burn your screens, you can just use vinyl just to, um, to map out your design just a little hack there um so you use screens the different paints it can get messy but you have to have more kind of things and a, a clean a, a, a space you don't mind getting messy so a garage or something like that so not only will you need several different paint colors your screens maybe some vinyl um to get started um and i believe that and like it's called i don't know the correct term but it's a scraper so what you use to kind of move that paint back and forth all, along the apparel item so those are what you need for screen printing the messiest of all um direct to film is going to be your most affordable option um next to vinyl now dtl is very relative to vinyl it looks identical mostly okay dtf most sometimes will last longer but honestly, you can get great um, results if you have the right heat press with the right pressures, the right temps, okay? So they actually can look identical and last the same amount of time. The thing with DTF is, it's perfect if you have intricate designs, small letterings, multiple colors, things you don't want to be fooling around with when you're using vinyl. So DTF is an easier, you know, stress-free way of making apparel. Okay, last two. All right, we have embroidery. If you're ready to make that big investment, go for it. Embroidery is honestly used everywhere, okay? Um, and if you're interested in doing like patches, baby wear, um, work shirts, 
these are going to bring in that revenue. So you'll pretty much pay for your machine over time. Um, I personally have a Baby Lock Alliance over there. I believe that ran, they, it, it depends once you get to having to get the accessories and the other items like, you know, your thread, your cutters and all this um, may start you around the 5,000 range. So if you're ready to make that investment, go for it. And that's a single needle. We can get into the, to the weeds about the different types of embroidery machines, but just the basic, it's going to run you about 5,000. Okay, start it. Now, sublimation, uh, it is on the rise right now. For the last year or so, more people have been delving into sublimation. We will be talking about sublimation more next month, March, first Friday, C3. So stay tuned for that. So I'll go in a lot more detail about what you'll need. Um, but equipment-wise, starting out, you need a printer that you can... Um, I would just say get a brand new printer, but you can um, recycle a printer. You have to literally change it out, um, flush out all the old ink in order to utilize the sublimation ink. But for me, just to give you a hint, I love my EcoTank. So I would just say go with any Epson EcoTank printer because you can easily just pour in your sublimation ink and it's already uh, converted because it really it gets super messy if you're trying to convert like a workforce or anything like that that you've already utilized with actual printer ink so my word to wise keep it simple and it has evolved over the years thank gosh but sublimation uh with eco tank if you want that eco tank printer and a good heat press all you need so if we're looking at affordability Vinyl, DTF, and sublimation are going to be your top three options, okay? If you're just looking to get started, okay? So, we have the techniques. What are we going to put it on? Our brand. So, personally, this is Jamisa. Personally, I use these brands, okay? My top two are going to be Bella and Canvas and Gildan, okay? Starting out, do not break the bank, okay? There's no need to do that. Start off with your Gildan. It's fine. Start off with gilding. The only thing I'll say is they do have a dry cotton. I usually stay away from that one, okay? But if you're starting out, get the heavy cotton, ultra cotton. That starts you off about $3 a piece, okay? But if you can, you know, spring about 5 to $6, I would say go with gilding soft style, okay? It is very comparable to the Bella and Canvas typical tee, okay? I love Bella and Canvas. It is a higher price point, but it is super soft, especially when you get into their sweatshirts. Oh my gosh, their crew necks are just amazing against the skin. Um, once my clients, I switched over. Mind you, I didn't tell my clients I was switching to a better quality um, item, but when you you automatically knew, like the first thing they would compliment is, oh my gosh, it's so soft. Oh my gosh. I'm like, okay. We made the right move, right? But if you can't spring for Bella and Canvas, Gildan Soft Sound, Soft Style is a close alternative. Okay, now to the bottom row. The only time I usually use Hanes is when I have a client who specifically asks for uh, eco-friendly apparel items. Okay, they Hanes has a brand uh, has a sector called Eco Smart. Okay, that is um, it's it's it feels nice it's soft it's good quality um it is cotton but it's um you know eco eco friendly okay so if someone specifically and it is a little more pricey so if someone specifically asks for it i will i already know in my head who carries a brand uh, what brand carries an item that fits their brand mission their business mission right next up is next level apparel now i haven't purchase any like shirts or long sleeves from them but i have purchased the racerback tanks now they could they're very affordable they run you about three to four dollars they are very popular in the summertime you get you a really nice um design logo or what have you perfect they sell like hotcakes okay so be sure to remember that for next level apparel and then last but not least if you're really interested in um checking out sublimation jerseys is going to be a good brand they have they have a hundred percent poly shirt that you can utilize they also have good sweatpants that are super soft and comfortable not poly they're cotton 
but they it's just it's nice and prints very well it like you can do screen printing um vinyl anything on it, it it's it's really good but jersey specifically has a sublimation tee now gilded if you do the soft style heather the heather style the heather style of the soft style perfect for sublimation okay that's gonna run you if i'm not mistaken i can't recall quite just right but might be 95 percent poly you can correct me if i'm wrong but they do have a high poly count which is what you want when you're dealing with sublimation all right so that's just a few of the brands um that i use personally um and when i use them so we have techniques we have our brands so where do i get these right that's next up all right so my most used vendors again this is me you can do a google search for wholesale apparel by all means but Jamisa has checked these out and have used these brand these businesses for years okay i'm gonna start off with aviva wholesale aviva wholesale is literally it's a storefront it's a wonderful storefront you can literally spend hours in there i um i can attest to that i have definitely spent hours in there and have come out with bags and bags of blanks okay um, and I'll show you a few things that I've done with their apparel. So Aviva is actually located in three cities in Texas, Georgia, I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, Dunwoody to be specific, Louisiana, Illinois, and Florida. Okay, so if you're in any of those states, feel free to stop by the storefront. But if you're not, you can order online. Okay, you can see whatever they have in stock, you order and they will ship it to you. Aviva Wholesale, they sell equipment. They sell vinyl. They have their own brand of vinyl. So I will say, make sure with any type of vinyl brand, you are looking at their specific, um, <laughs> losing my words, using their specific, I wanna say measurements, but that's not the word I'm looking for. But like, for instance, your temp, temp and your pressures. All vinyl brands have specific temps and pressures they need to be pressed at. Now, you will have to do testers because some heat presses run hotter. Some types of vinyl should not be used on anything but cotton. So make sure that you're doing your research on what to use when, okay? But Aviva has some really good vinyl, okay? And they sell all types. They also sell Oracle as well, if you're interested in Oracle. Um, but I personally use their regular vinyl. They have glitter, flock, um, pattern htv they have so many options okay they also sell equipment if you need a heat press you need a cutter they have everything you need okay even if you're interested in dtf creating your own dtf they have supplies for you there aviva one-stop shop get your apparel on the first six aisles you know check out some knickknacks because they sometimes have this uh one of their brands is la viva and they have cool little items there um like tie-dye sweatsuits which i'll show later um they have different stuff so they do carry that particular brand as well along with your gildens your bella canvas your rabbit skins um which i did not mention but rabbit skins i use for um my one so that is one brand if i don't use gerber or something like that that specifies specifically for the client rabbit skins is really good brand quality for the baby clothing um just as an aside, I use AJ Blanks as well. Um, currently, they're, they are actually moving into a warehouse right now. So their site is down, but they have some really cute items for if you're interested in embroidery or vinyl. Perfect for infant, infant wear, okay? Um, let's move on to shirt space. Shirt space, not many people talk about, surprisingly. Shirt Space is a gym, okay? I go there first for anything, okay? They have all the brands that I mentioned and some. Um, they have prices listed at, and they're they're typically wholesale. Same with Aviva, wholesale. And just to back up a little bit, Aviva, if you purchase, I think about 15, 10 or 15 or so of one unit type, you get a discount. So it's a cheaper price point. So they, do, they are very... Um, I guess you'll say business friendly because they want you to purchase with them. They are true wholesalers, okay? Shirt space, mm, they offer wholesale prices as well. 
Um, but you know, it can't eat up when you get to the shipping costs and things like that. But I love shirt space because they do offer a express shipping option. So, you know, you might just have to factor that in into your price point, but it's great quality. Also shirt space, amazing customer service. I can't express how much that means to me <laughs> with any company I work with. I expect, I have, I hold everyone at a high standard, right? Shirt space, for instance, um, they have, actually have a couple warehouses, right? Um, a couple of times I have, depending on where you live, it'll ship from a particular warehouse. Sometimes some items, which they will tell you, will ship from extended warehouse. So that won't be at their specific location. They'll be um, coming, shipping from other locations. So I have had instances where I have received my inventory, checking my inventory, and I've had, for instance, holes in my shirts. They are quick on their feet, okay? I shoot them an email, and within 24 hours, I have a shipping notification that my items have been, are on the way. They're being replaced free of charge, right? That's a win-win in my eyes, because now I have, you know, an apparel item, that I could utilize for, you know, testing out different vinyls or testing out new techniques. And I'm also getting my, the item I actually <laughs> ordered, you know, win-win, you know, always find a positive in everything, okay? Last but not least, if you are in Atlanta area and even if you're not, Atlanta vinyl is amazing, okay? When I tell you, well, if you watch January's um, 3C, I mentioned Sizer is my favorite vinyl brand okay it just is so it's thin it's thin enough to work with it's thinner than the Cricut vinyl so it's easier to work with it's easier to weave even though I do have some tips and tricks for that but it's just it's less temperamental okay Sizer brand Atlanta vinyl carries almost all of the Sizer's options okay in regards to vinyl okay but not only that they just started offering DTF transfers direct to film transfers and you can even get one custom made if you would like okay but they have a large array like I believe over a hundred or so different films that you, transfers you can just order um from black history mom to um pride to uh mother's day father's day all the uh, july 4th literally every event or anything you can think of easter everything they have preset templates already ready to order now it does take a little longer because they do print to order but it's great quality i have um i actually bought a black ceo transfer from them um i that oh it pressed like wonders it melted right into the shirt as we expect um i've got when halloween came around i had a um it was just like a mix of the different kind of characters like Freddy Cougar, all of those, like everybody was on the shirt. And usually I'm kind of eerie when it's multiple, um, when it's heavy, heavy color, heavy ink, right? Um, but the trick with that is one, it's gonna print and it's like, it's kind of scratchy. Once you wash it that one time, soft as butter, okay? So they do have wonderful quality um dtf transfers okay so not only do they have vinyl they stepped into that dtf game last year and it's been smooth selling okay and if you are interested i do have a discount code for atlanta vinyl it's by j creates um and it's five percent off now that is very helpful because they do have a shipping fee okay um i will say even though i do live in georgia and fairly close about an hour or so from their location um, sometimes I'll do pickup for free, but sometimes just, I'll just pay the $8 to have it shipped because they use UPS and y'all know, if you know, you know, I love UPS two to three day shipping always. Okay. You don't have to worry about your items getting lost in the mail. So when I'm on a crunch, these are the three vendors that I frequent. Okay. And of course, Amazon, I'm just going to throw that in there. Do not don't sleep on Amazon, okay? But please order multiple so you can test the quality yourself. And I suggest you do that with all of these. Get a few of the um, different items that I mentioned. Um, so for instance, with I'm gonna go back a couple slides here. So in, re in relation to Gilded, I would suggest you buy a few of each. So buy a Bella Canvas tee, 
by Gifton Soft Style, Ultra Cotton, Heavy Cotton, even the dry blend, so you can test the different options. I love doing this when I'm doing a live in-person consult, or even if I'm teaching a class, a one-on-one -on -one class, I will literally have each option, and I won't tell them what's what. I'll just say, Phil, which one was your favorite? And they usually always go with that Bella canvas and that soft style is gonna come in second. So just so you're aware of what you're purchasing, just buy a few samples and keep some on hand, okay? All right, let's fast forward here. We're coming up on the end. I just wanna show you a few things, okay? Just, just a few things. Now, these are some items that I've made over time, okay? And I'll just walk you right through a good bit of them, okay? Here on the bottom, you remember when I mentioned Aviva, how they have their own, um, a different brand, uh, La Viva, the tie-dye sweatsuit sweat suit set. So this came with the hoodie and these are the bottoms. You see this, this is actually puff vinyl that I got from, uh, from uh, actually from Aviva as well. So this whole set came from Aviva. So, and I love a good puff vinyl, but you really need to test it because every, mach every heat press is different every puff vinyl is different so you can order your puff vinyl from atlanta vinyl and you might have different temperatures and different press um different pressures psi okay so just be cognizant of that always do a test press first always okay because you do not want to waste your blanks all right up here we have embroidery i did this for a friend as a gift the top here um is just the chef's hat and I did their logo on the uh, chef coat. Okay, this is embroidery. This is actually a screen print transfer. They are more pricey um, than, I mean, you can do it yourself. It is one color. So if you did want to do the, um, the, the hoopla with, you know, getting the white and, you know, doing your screens and all of that, perfect. But I, they, there, it is a thing called screen print transfers. They are more pricey though. That's why I did not mention it earlier. They are pricey. You will be better off just getting a sheet of vinyl or doing that DTF transfer. That will that will be, especially if you're doing a one-off. Now, if you're doing bulk, go for it. But otherwise, you wanna go with the most affordable option, okay? Now, here we have sublimation. Wouldn't even be able to tell. These are sublimation masks. The uh, mat, the doormat, sublimation. I know a lot of people, uh, maybe a couple years ago, was getting into the painting of the mats and stuff. This is sublimation. Printed it out. I think it took two sheets, basically. I lined it, pressed it, and we were good to go. Here we have another embroidery on a jean jacket. Jean jacket purchased from Amazon. It is a kid's jean jacket, toddler jean jacket. Down here. Now, here's where we get to the specifics. This is vinyl. This is before I knew anything about DTF, okay? This is when I first started offering bulk orders a few years ago, okay? So this is vinyl, y'all. It took forever to literally weed out all the little holes of the letters, okay? You know, and I couldn't miss any. And this, I can't remember how many shirts, maybe about 10 shirts. Oh my goodness. It took so long. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have gotten a dtf transfer and then done in within within minutes okay but we you know we we learn we grow over time okay but yes this is vinyl and they are still holding holding steady to the shirts okay so it all depends on your on your press as well now this is vinyl it was only two colors only one order so i just did vinyl for that and with that, you're also able to kind of add your little razzle dazzle to it. I actually use glitter for this. Is it stethoscope? I use glitter vinyl for this. That yeah, you know what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, and here we have sublimation as well. This is actually I can't remember the vendor, but it is 100% polyester long sleeve tee and a mat a mask to match. This is sublimation. And you see that ink transfer, that ink is amazing. And next month I'll tell you the vendor for the ink, okay? And they actually also started selling the full sublimation kit. So just a small plug, I'm gonna be sending people their way next month, okay? Now here, vinyl. You wouldn't even be able to tell the difference, vinyl. DTF here. You can't tell the difference. It looks exactly the same, okay? 
And last but not least, I did a combo. So these are the plaid shirts. They have the pocket in front. So I actually did embroidery on the pocket, just, just for cute seats, you know? And on the back was vinyl. Now I could have easily done vinyl on the front, but I was trying something out. I wanted to test out one of my newer frames on the embroidery machine, a smaller frame. And it did wonderful. It did wonderful, okay? So these are just some examples of things that you can do and utilize. Um, and next, I'm going to give you the last alternative. If you don't want to buy all the things, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, print on demand. Now, I will say, the only negative for print on demand is they take a good bit of your profits, okay? You still make residual income, but you have to understand they're taking fees for not only printing, um, but they're charging you for the apparel. They're charging you to print on the apparel. They're charging you to ship the item. So by the time, so you really have to price your items at a higher price point in order to see any type of residual income, okay? So just a heads up, but some of my top ones would be Printful, Teespring, and Custom Cat. You might have heard of a couple of these, but they are all really good, reputable um, sources for print on demand. You can literally sit back, relax, and let them do the work for you, okay? And personally, I also offer some print on demand services, but you will actually need to sit with a consult before we get the ball rolling, okay? Just to make sure, see what types of designs you're looking for, your price points, and we can determine the best options for you. And the thing by going through me, like personally, when I have, um, when I ship out my items for my clients, I like to add personalizations to them. So I might have a handwritten note. I might have um please leave a google review on a postcard with their name you know uh, adding a couple business cards in you know so i add um i have little wristbands with my brand name and my um tagline so it's items that kind of you know just ha add a little personal touch so i'm able to do that because i ship myself now don't get me wrong you can literally if i'm not mistaken all three of those options offer that you can ship them the items you want to put in your boxes or your bags, but you will have to pay additional for them, okay, per package, okay? So with me, we can literally determine what's the best route. What do you really want? What do you need? What you can afford? And we can go from there. Um, if you're interested in that, feel free to reach out and we can definitely get a meeting set up, okay? Now, if you have any questions, as always, never hesitate to either add them in, a, in the chat. I'll always be checking or just reach out to me one on one. Hit us up on Instagram. Um, I'm very active on uh, both. We uh, will start back posting a lot more reg regularly. <laughs> so um, this is my main page by JCH LLC. But this uh, 3C is actually powered through Creative studio academy okay so we will have a lot of courses coming on um, your way soon so we can dive deeper into the how to's what do you need especially in regards to different crafting options okay because say you want to do paper crafts we can do that and i talk about that in Jan um, january session i will literally walk you through what you need um, and walk you through the how to's of it all okay um i also have some courses coming out to start your etsy shop what you need to kind of get your sales just rolling. Um, currently, I have designs, I've had designs up on the site for a while. Excuse me. <clears throat> My goodness. Um, I've had, uh, I have some just designs I sell for, you know, PNG files and SVG files. So people ask, they're at a lower price point because they're just, you know, digital files, but simple tweaks to your description will literally bring more eyes in the algorithm from Etsy to your page. I get a few sales a week. Um, of course, they are specific to certain months. Uh, so my higher, higher, I, I sell, they sell out, sell year round, but my higher item sales are always gonna be kind of January, February, um, and then later on in the year, okay? So I am 
working to add more designs that are more universal and um, able to be used for different occasions, be modified. So I am working on that. But honestly, when I tell you Etsy, if you add the more details, the better, it will literally help the SEO of Etsy to push more people your way, okay? There's no such thing as oversaturation because there's only one you, okay? So add some personality in there, add some videos, you know? But we'll talk about that in that course, okay? If you have any inkling of questions, feel free to leave them in the chat, hit me up on the Instagram. Also, if you have any topics you want me to cover, let me know. We'll add it to our queue for quarter two. All right, that concludes today's session, y'all. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next month.